Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Oh yeah, I don't sweep in the compounds. Please go and gather enough firewood for me. Hmm? I'm going to bring some herbs. My clients will soon be here. Please. I need to prepare herbs for them. Enough herbs for them. Papa, I am still very tired from yesterday's work. Even after I'm standing here, I'm feeling sleepy. I'm just sweeping this compound because it is what every maiden must do. After this, I'm going back to sleep again. Is there a talk party here? Or were you directing that to me? Come now. Please now. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you don't want to gather those files for me. No, no, Papa. I will gather it all. I'm only saying that uh, after sleeping and resting, uh -huh, I, I will not go and get them for you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired. Let me go out there, gather those herbs, and then come back here and wait for you and that's why I will. That's not what I'm saying. No. What I'm saying is that I, I will get it, but when I'm, when I wake up again. Mama, Mama, we are ready to go. Mama, you have to eat now. You have to eat before you go. Mama, we have a lot of work to do today. It's better we go early now so we can finish early and come back. The earlier, the better, you know. But the best thing for you to do is to eat first before you leave for work. If you don't eat when you get to the farm, you'll be lazy. You won't have the energy to work. But once you eat, uh, -uh uh, and you'll be able to do everything now. You'll have so much energy and you'll be strong. Brother, I think Mama is right. We need to eat before we go and do this kind of work. I wasn't expecting any other thing from you. You will support now. Is it not food? No, sit down and eat. Sit down and eat and then I'll go to work. You come and join me there later. But don't expect any reasonable share from the money. Nah, but why are you always treating this boy like this? Uncle one day. Why? Mama, he's not a child now. How can a full-grown, healthy young man like this be thinking of food in the morning? Brother, Osa does not know who is young or old. It's best we eat in the morning before we go and walk. Not this kind of uh, hectic walk. Yeah. You have heard what your brother said. Osa boy! I don't have money in this house to take care of any ailment. I won't call you now. What my ulcer, my ulcer, and ulcer. So it's best that you people eat. Doctor. <laughs> Medical doctor now. Mama, the work we are going to do is not a fresh work. Uh, it's the one we started yesterday. So we'll finish it this morning and then we'll come and eat before we start a fresh work. Nah, my fair man, eh? Go inside and carry that tube of here and near the kitchen door. If you get to the farm and you get hungry, roast it. Thank you, Mama. Uh -huh, you're welcome. What up, Mama? With oil. Is that oil? Yes. I'll tell me, but oil. Mama, we, we are no, not going... No, no, oil here now. It's not our farm, Mom. Where will you roast it? You will find where to roast it. Mama, you will look for where to roast that yam. As if you will not eat when it is all roasted. I don't mind. But if you bring back some of the yam, nay, I'm on my power. Bye bye. No. You're no one. Anene. Papa. 
Are you sure of what you're saying? I am very sure. I am very sure of what I'm saying. I saw him with my eyes. That is why I, 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 I decided to come and tell you first as my man so that you can go and find out. You know what could be wrong this time around? Papa needs to go to the palace to find out what is going on. Papa, you have to be fast. I am very sure it has nothing to do with the elders. Papa, uh -huh. this case that I'm talking about uh -huh. is elders' case. Uh -huh. In fact, if you have gray hair, it's your case. The case I'm talking about has everything to do with the elders. Papa, go to the palace and find out before it will be too late. Please, sir. Listen to me, Ale. Mm. Ale as long man. Listen to me very well. If you are looking for a way to avoid going to the farm today, you are a failure. You must go to that farm. <laughs> hey, Papa, if, if you look at me, uh -huh. I'm not working with energy. I have strength for farming. Farm is not my problem. That but what I saw in the eyes of Okuozo, the chief priest, mm. what I saw in his head, and the way he was enchanting, Papa, something terrible is happening in this village. You need to go and find out for safety. You are an idiot. If there's anything terrible in the palace, Igwe will send for us. Now, get inside the house and prepare for the farm. Papa, I almost killed Nduru and Ewe. I left it for this message. Papa, don't use it and play. Go to the palace. Hey, oh, I go and in Duru. Get inside the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Papa, yes, Papa. Nine. Yes. Just listen to him. You can stay back at home while I go to the farm with uh, Anene. By the time you find out what the message is all about, you can then join us at the farm. Azuba. Papa. Be fast about that water. Don't go about gallivanting and gossiping with your friends. You know you have a lot to do in the house. Papa, I, I don't waste time fetching water. And I don't gossip with Tifunaya. We're just friends, we don't gossip. You are your father. Don't do that friendship with your brother's stomach. Fetch your water, come back so you enter the kitchen. Mama, when last did you cook for your husband? Eh? Your mother has been cooking for me for the past 12 years, before you and your sister joined her. And she will still continue cooking after you might have gotten married. Papa, Look. let her continue cooking for me. Mama, cook for your husband. This is for better for worse. Don't give me your, your work to me. Hey, Small pinta damo. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hey, I've been waiting for you. You didn't tell me that you won't uh, fetch water today. You should have got my line. I called you now. What time I called you? <laughs> you didn't call my line when I left for the market. Well, I left my phone at home to charge. Ah. Anyways, here we are. Here we are alone. Please, I have a lot to do today. Otam. Otam. You are not looking bright this morning. What is it? Onye pasugiwe. Eh? Mechi, how will I be happy? Eh? This is morning. We are bigger than this. You're supposed to be hunting by now. Oh, and please try and give me some space. Oh, Tamu. Oh, Tamu. Oh, Tamu, you know this thing, you know. You know you are my lucky angel. Each time I spend time with you before going for hunting, I used to kill the biggest of animal. Makachi. Because stop lying. You never kill the biggest of animal. Just like a big goat. Hey, <laughs> uh, you know what? I know why you are angry. But you know what will happen? My family, eh, my water is going to eh? I will, I will bring a very big bushmeat for you. Don't worry. Yeah? 
so that you look at our water. Eh? What's a feeling? Let me accompany you to the junction now. No, wait, wait, wait. Igwe, a maiden from your palace will poison your food. And once you eat the food, you will die. And which of these maidens has this evil intention of poisoning my father? Listen, uh, a poison. You know it yourself that we do not have inner eyes like you. That is why we rely on you for this kind of ministration. Who is this particular maiden that is planning this grievous crime against the king? The gods have delivered their message. They should be locked up. I don't think that is the best way to go about this. At least now. They are planning to poison you. One of them, he said. And we don't know the particular one that is planning this. I feel the best thing for us to do is um, see all of them as if they are innocent until we are able to pin the very evil one that is planning the evil. If we torture them, they will speak the truth. That which the gods did not reveal should be kept secret. If they want you to know, they will reveal that to me. We will. I shall take my leave. Ikenga, I think I have a way we can solve this problem once and for all. All the maidens in this palace should be sent out. Immediately, and I want to see to that. Yes, father. Just look at your ugly faces. So, you want to kill my father and make me an orphan? Huh? No. Now, listen to me. Go into your chambers, pick whatever you have there, and leave this palace. Oh my Shut God. up! Do you want to slap you before you obey me? You have 30 seconds, so you see you don't have time. Isaka. My prince. See to this. Hello. Hey, quiet. Says. Close your mouth. Oh yeah. Go in and pack your things. Also. If Naya. If Naya. Hey. Why you sleep like this time of day? Why do you like disturbing me? Hey? Look at you. If I say you were lazy now, you will argue it. How can you be sleeping by this time of day? Did you wake me up to sweep the compound? You woke up, did some work, you went back to bed. What is even wrong with you? Azuka, you are my problem. Eh? You're my problem, leave me alone. What is it? Go stay, go and fetch your time with you every day. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Eh? Eh, you have told me that we're no longer friends now. I was just gone. I will not even come and call you again. Just, just say we're no longer best friends. I will go. Uh, I'm sorry. Calm down. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? See, uh, Azuka, I worked late night with my father. I am very, very tired. I, 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 I woke up this morning and used the small strength I have to, 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 to do the little chores I can do. And now my father insists that I must fetch firewood for him. And you are here now saying that we should go and fetch water. Oh, give me oh, me. I'm tired though. Let me even ask you. What does your father do with firewood? I mean, who still uses that these days? Uh -huh. That one, just forget that man. See, my father will never use gas or stove. He says that it is not good for the herbs. <laughs> says that uh, 
uh, herbs should be prepared naturally. That's how he says it. What do I even know? Uh, but even at that, mm. he says the same way now. If I go to fetch water, you go this way to fetch firewood. So let's go together. I'm, 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 I'm talking left, you're talking right. Don't, 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 don't you know the meaning of I'm tired? Ah. <coughs> ah. Yeah. Nah, good morning. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm fine. Have you? Welcome. Have you faced if I would ask you to fish? Papa, I, 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 you, you forgot what I told you. Papa, I told you that I am tired now. Please. Yeah. That I will I will help you and uh, we'll get it later. Papa, what are you looking for? Did you misplace anything? Even I? Sir? You want to know what I can do to you? No. Even I? Before I go in there and come out! Hey! Look at you! Mama, you cannot see them. You can only hear them. When you hear them, you follow the sound. <laughs> Bed. I mean, I'm not No. I want to go and fetch water. I want to go and fetch water. Have I not told you not to do anything in this house? I've told you severally. Just be on your own, take care of your body. That is all. Uchechi, go and fetch water. Take this in and go inside and take care of yourself. I, I want you to be, 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 become irresistible, tempting to the eyes of the prince of this kingdom. So, you do nothing else than take care of your body alone. Papa, I don't like the way you're stressing me in this house. So. Uchichi, I am not stressing you in this house. It is for your own good. Because finally, you will be the one to enjoy the whole thing. By the time she gets married to the prince, she becomes the queen of this kingdom. And you will be so proud of yourself and so proud of your sister. So... Oh, Papa, this is wrong. Other maidens in this kingdom are in their house doing the family chores. You won't allow me to do anything. Oh, Rama, you are the one getting it wrong. Yeah, because you are not other maidens in this kingdom. You are Urema, a special maiden made right from her mother's womb to get married to the prince of this kingdom. You are the future queen of our kingdom. Papa, the prince you are talking about, he's in love with someone. She's even betrothed to him. Why are you punishing me for a prize I may never claim? It doesn't really matter. I am not punishing you. Of course, I can't punish you. I am doing these things for your own good. Do you understand? Listen. 
The prince might fall in love with as many women as... But when it comes to marriage, you are the one he must choose. But how do you expect me to live with a man who does not love me? The way you sound, you are a woman. A woman has her way of penetrating the heart of a man. Never mind, with time, you will see him falling in love with you. I understand. Nothing good comes easy. Uh, by the time you become the queen, become successful, you won't remember all this effort I'm making for your own good. Father, please listen to me. Listen, the king. I am going to be very straight with you on this. I will not take the risk of employing another palace maiden. I will not. Oh, so, um, how do we eat? Yigenga, had it been you listened to me and you got married all this while I was dropping it into your head, should we now be talking about who will prepare what we are going to eat so as to avert the prophecy? Should we? Father, you are talking as if I refused to get married. I only asked for the time, uh, you know, to get myself prepared physically, spiritually and otherwise, mentally. So because... We, have, we are waiting for you to be prepared. We are going to die of hunger? What are you talking about? Ikenga, the very first woman that was betrothed to you is ready to be married. Why are you dragging your feet? Father, this predicament is not good enough to pressure me into marrying someone I do not have feelings for. I will marry the one I love, please. So because of whatever you call love, we are going to die of hunger, right? No. The palace girls can cook for us. You know, sometimes when you speak, I start wondering if you understand the custom of this land at all. Have you ever heard it anywhere that the palace guard can cook for the king? Why are you saying it? You know, why are you suggesting that? Well, Father, this is 21st century. And anybody can be a good cook. Well, anybody can be a good cook and they can be cooking for anybody. But I need you to understand there are only two sets of people who are qualified to cook for the king in this kingdom. Number one, a woman who is married into the palace or a maid who has been led into an oath to be at the cup of the king. Apart from these two women, no other person can cook for the king. So based on that, you can go. When are you getting married? Hasn't. Luzana is so hardworking and cute at the same time. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. What is that one? Which one is? Luzana is so hardworking and cute at the same time. What is that? Please, let me warn you on time. Eh? Remove your eyes from Lutana. You can have his brother, uh, Ibebike. I don't care. And, and, and don't forget that you're betrothed to the prince. Remove your eyes from men. Uh, thank the gods that you know I'm betrothed to the prince. So I don't have time for what you're insinuating. You have time. Stop doing it. And then I said, fine. And then uh, I said, hardworking. Stop doing that. I don't want trouble. I don't want. I love him. Ah. Yes. Ah. Somebody that has what? somebody that is looking at her, he will not remove her eyes. In general, like, let me go to admire him alone. I don't want. No, I was just. What the? What is the thing that my son that is hard working Everything is there, don't do it. It's not your fault. I mean, there's nothing you could have done. I could have told them that you are a good maiden. Eh? I could have told them that other maidens are suspect and not you. See, if you had done that, they would have every reason to believe we have a hand in the plot. My love, how are you sure about that useless prophecy? <laughs> Are you sure it is not that useless of course of who is cooking up this raw rubbish for us to feel his activeness in this village? No, I don't think so. Okwazo cannot come up with such prophecy. See, if you ask me, I think someone wants to poison the king. And, and, and you believe that could be a maiden in the palace? I, 
That I don't know, but it. Eh? <laughs> eh? Isaka, so you want to take my sister in the bush? Uh -uh. I've been telling my father that something is terribly wrong in this kingdom, but he will never believe me. So you. you hey, 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 hey. This guy no going to inside though. Huh? Isaka, so it has gotten to the level of you taking my sister to the bush? Huh? You want to take her here? You will, you will, you you are disgraced! So I have. Hey, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would I do to this? Okay. Is it not better I use this color to finish I mean, your mouth? You just respect yourself. He good. If you call my name again, if you call my name, don't worry. Let me go and tell my father at once. Okay? You never buy any of the. Hey, we, you want to go? I will. Hey! Um, Isaka, I need to start going now before he goes and tell my father I'm here with you. Oh, my love, when am I going to save him? She can always come to my father's house. Yeah. But I have to are, go now. Are, are you not going to beg me? Be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not kissing me. I have to go now. I don't just like that, Isaka. And he's always sneaking up on me because he don't have any proof. Suspecting someone else is a big allegation. You should be sure of yourself. Oh. Hey, me former. I'm not just comfortable with that guy, Siaka. I think he's up to something. Yes, and as for Ngozi, I only get her involved because of the prophet. Because I know that you and I are clean. Therefore, is Ngozi? Yes. What do you think Siaka is up to? Mm, nothing in particular, just that I don't feel he's loyal to the kingdom. <laughs> Stop exaggerating on people's behavior. You don't have any evidence. Therefore, speak no such thing. Secondly, Ngozi and Isiak are dating long before we started working in this palace. Be sure of what you say. Okay, oh. if he says so, I will draw on my statements. But I won't be surprised. If what I said suffers to be true to one day. Hmm? Till that day. Okay, let me go to my house. Okay. One day, bye. Papa, I'll see you later. Yes. Bye oh. bye. Not at the farm. Huh? Papa, it is not about the farm. Then about what? It is about something serious. I told you that Okuo's visit this morning to the palace was not ordinary. But you do not believe me. Papa, your name is supposed to be Thomas on your naga. You do not believe me. But now look at it. The worst has happened. What is the worst that has happened? Papa. He huh? will has sacked all the palace medics. Oh now, he has sacked on them operation. Go home. As I'm talking to you now, your daughter is included. So expect the coming back of Mwada. They have sacked your, 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 your daughter from serving from the palace. Hey! Palace palliative. And Christ, no more from the palace. Hey! Papa. Hey, Papa. Listen to me. Eh? Listen to me. If I find out that what you have just told me is a lie, I will scare you alive. Now, on your way, go Papa. to the farm and remain there. Papa, your name is supposed to go to the farm. 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 Go to Hey, Foma, where are you coming from with your bags? Is there any problem? Igwe sent us out of the palace. Gene. You are who? All the maidens. No. What happened? Papa, Mama, 
Let's go inside. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Una. 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 Despite my warnings, she still went about and start gallivanting with her friends. I am as confused as you are. What kind of child is this? Don't you have some water in the house? Make use of the, the one you have and, and prepare me something. In fact, I'm, I'm very, very hungry. Just, just try and do something. Just um, go to Ichi Okoroji's house. Tell him we are done with the job. You should come and inspect the work and then pay us. Okay. But in the meantime, let me rush to Chinyere shop so I can get water. Okay. Huh? No problem. You drink, eh? Yes, yes. No get like two. <laughs> Be like, okay. Hey, how would I even give him the water when I don't have a cup? Hey, but I'll the same. I'll see him. I'll talk to him. I'll tell him how special he is. I'll tell him how sweet he is. I'll tell him how handsome, how cute, how he will be in my world. And I'm like, kiss him. <laughs> and then. Uh, if you also let me, I'll do the other thing and then every other beautiful thing that I have to do with you. Oh, my baby. <laughs> I look into his eyes and I tell him how much I love him, how much I've been wanting to be with him, how much I like him, how much he's the best, how much he'll be my own life. Real honey, real baby. He will look at me back and say, Azu baby, don't tell me you're shy. And I'll just smile sheepishly and I'll look at him and I'll smile. <laughs> oh my old. And then I look straight to his eyes and tell him, I'm not shy, baby. I love you, baby. You're the best, baby. You're my wife, baby. And I'll love you forever, baby. No? <laughs> Your Majesty, the question is this. Are the gods not aware that the maidens in question are our daughters? Because this accusation on our daughters is a direct allegation on us, the elders, of insurgency 
against your troll and even you in person. Uh, anyway, with all due respect, you just imply that one of us, at least if not all of us, has the intention of killing you. No, you can't say that because the king never said so. He did not say anything of such. And he had to forehead in the napa. Make it to one who forehead in the napa. Eh, it's not done. He is only being cautious. He is equally acting in accordance with the dictates, the directives of the gods. That is what happened. Oh no. Yes. With due respect, please. Let me bring something to your understanding. You Say it. God. Wisdom is not for sale. But those that crave for it, beget it. That is why you do not understand and feel our pains. Because none of the maidens in question is your daughter. And what's with this kingdom think about us? This doesn't show respect to us. It is our total humiliation from the Igwe. Listen. You can say whatever you like. You own your mouth, you can say anything with it. But the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. By the way, Ojuku is supposed to be part of this meeting. What is it? I, I spoke with him this morning. He said he's on his way. Uh, well, before we go into this Ojuku discussion, I want to counter what he said. There is no way you can present the argument that I have humiliated the men in council. I have not. If I do not have strong respect for the elders in council, then all those maidens would have been in detention up to now. Of course. Of course. Until it is extracted from the very one who is planning to poison me. But all of them are still free. I have not detained any of them. Is that not an indication that I have strong respect for the elders of the council? Can, can, you, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Greetings, great Ila of our land. Greetings. Uh, uh, greetings. To what do I owe this your visit this money? Mas, my prince sent me to come and bring his beloved wife to be to the palace as soon as possible. <coughs> well, I sent her to fetch firewood for me. But she went to fetch water with her friend Azoka. Azuka. You know what? You guys have to wait here. Okay. No problem. I will go and search for her. All right. Okay. But if she arrives before me, call me on phone. All right. Okay? All right. Now, wait. You still haven't told me why the prince wants my daughter at the palace so gently. Uh, Mazu, you don't have to worry yourself. Or don't you want to be the future in law to our prince? Hmm? No problem. Remember, <clears throat> if you are before me. The way Ono was sounding, I was beginning to think he's the one behind this accusation. Or no, who being behind it or not is not my problem. My problem is Igu Ashebe, who allowed himself to be controlled by another man. If it is true that these suggestions were made up, mm. I won't accept them until I pay a visit to my friend. Your friend might also tell you a lie. Huh? If it will be truthful to him, mm. of course. Yes. But you can go ahead and pay him a visit. I want to see the end of this. In other words, our daughters are old enough to be thinking about marriage. No one will notice them in the palace. It is therefore an opportunity for them to be noticed by any possible suitors. If you are not, you've just made a very important point. Igwe Ajebe might have sent our daughters away from the palace 
simply because one day his son might find any of our daughters attractive. Which is why I suspected Ono who to be behind it. Mm -hmm. Yes, because he has been trying so hard to force the prince to marry his daughter. Yes. I will not accept any of these ideas until I pay a visit to my friend. Yes. Ah. Well, no problem. We shall see the hand. I want to see the hand. Huh? No. <laughs> oh. I want to see the hand. Oh no, I asked you to stay back because I wanted to privately tell you that the time has come for your daughter to move into the palace. I see. That's a good one, Your Majesty. But, but, but I thought that traditional rites has to be performed in a few months' time. But why can't we wait until then? Oh no, you have been my friend for a very long time. Yes, I know. And uh, you know it yourself that there is no way I will do anything that will not be in your favor. I'm aware of this. Does it mean you are not seeing? What is happening in the palace, that there is no maid remaining here. Since I lost my wife, I have not married another woman. And you are aware of this. So under normal circumstances, the question begins for an answer is, who takes care of the things I eat? But, but you can equally employ the services of professionals, whom I know can perfectly do that for you. When you sound that way, you know, I begin to wonder if you are ignorant of the tradition of this kingdom. Professional cooks or whatever you call them cannot prepare what the king will eat. And that is the main reason I am insisting your daughter who is betrothed should be here. Now you need to understand this. When I got your daughter betrothed to my son, my wife kicked against it vehemently. She favored the daughter of her mother, who she equally got betrothed to my son. And when they grew up eventually, my son started to like the daughter of her mother instead of liking your daughter. But I am the king, and I am in a position to know that uh, the daughter of the Ono should be the next queen of the kingdom. And that is why I am saying that she should move into the palace. Based on this information, you know, is, don't you think this is the best time for us to start working towards this very noble objective? Remember, is your father around? No, he went to the palace. Is there any problem? Um, no problem. Um, we are done with the work at the farm, so I want him to come and inspect it, you know, so oh, he can pay us. Okay. Um, why don't you come inside and wait for him? He will soon be back. Come inside. Um, I I don't think it's a good idea. I, I can wait here for him. And who says it's not a good idea? Oh, come on, not today. Oh, not today. No, why do you think it's not even a good idea? Huh? I'm so tired. You know, I've been working on the farm. Uh -uh. Come inside. Let's go inside. You mean that? Yes. Let's go. Come inside. What? Come inside. Oh my goodness, why are you pretending like this? Come on. Come Amichi, and don't like the way you stop me in the morning. Eh, hey, Uchi, I'm sorry. Eh? But I must give you this very bush meat because I shot it with your picture in my heart. Of course, I know it will do justice in your hands. Eh? Look at it, it's very big. Very, very big. Oh. Thank you. Eh? Hey. Let me go. I still have a lot to do this morning. I'll see you later in the evening. Eh? Hey? You see me in the evening? 
Okay, let me look for something for you to wrap it. Okay. <laughs> Thank the gods that I met you here. I have been searching for your friend Ifunaya. As you can see, I'm here alone. You are here alone. Listen, her father told me that she left with you. Take me to wherever she is. Or do you want me to tell my prince that you are hiding his future wife from seeing him? I went to fetch water. If now I went to Ugweke to fetch firewood, we're not together. Ugweke? Yes. Take me to that place. Ah, my mother needs water in the house to do something. I cannot follow you to Ugweke to go and put it. I need it. I need it. You, let, let, let me help you. I'll carry my water. Let's go. Ugweke, is it people for it? Ah, Chileke. Ugolunka. Eh? Hi. I don't understand it. These boys will never come back home to eat the food that their mother cooked for them. At all. Lotanna, hard worker. As you can get on all, but at least allow your brother to come home and eat now. Get no DC cable. Hi. Is up to something. Ohozo's mm. prophecy is not enough reason for Igwe to send out the whole palace maiden. Mm -hmm. Mama, me, I believe it strongly in my heart that somebody in the palace is planning to poison the king. Ah. Yes. I heard you. What made you to say that? I, I said it because since I was young and now I am getting old, Okwazo's prophecy never fails. What we should be doing now is to calm down. What are you Kenya? Look down, down, and find out what the problem is. That's why the fact that you have always been a very stupid and foolish son, I think you have said something reasonable today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the question. Giraffe. I will find out what exactly the problem is at the palace. Um Ungozi. Until I am able to ascertain that there is no longer danger at the palace. Huh? 
I don't want you to associate yourself with anybody from Bam. the palace. Bam. Bam. Papa, is that necessary? Very, very necessary. What I have just given to you is a warning. And so shall it be. Don't say I have not warned you. You know? Uh, Mama, did you hear what Papa just said? What has my relationship with Isiaka got to do with what is happening in the palace? Don't misunderstand your father. He did not say you will not get married to Isiaka. All he is saying is stay away from anything or anyone that has to associate with the palace. But, uh, uh, yes. Um, you see that thing Papa just said, I am warning you. I am turning it into a law. You must listen to your parents. I don't want to hear anything, Isiaka. Yes! yes. Oh, Isiaka, you. Yeah. Cool. Is it? I swear. Man. And you, where do you think you're going to? To get more information. Yeah, information, can you raise it Because I am an information minister. <laughs> My friend, will you come back here? Okay. My, my information is live. And as for you, no, Isiaka. Isiaka more, I will Isiaka you. <laughs> yeah. Mama, information. I see. I said, come back. Information is right. Mama, this is not fair. This is not fair. And you just keep quiet and let me. Yes. We can't continue like this. We need to put an end to this. Why, Igwebiki? Why? You know I love you. You don't love me. You're only lusting after me, huh? Besides, you're betrothed to the Prince Ikenga. I mean, how do you even present yourself to him? How do you look at him? Can the Prince swear he has not been seeing other girls? This is my life. I have every right to enjoy it until he decides to marry me. Please try to understand. You just let this. Please, I'm taking I, I, I am warning you for the last time. Leave this place when my father comes. So come and collect your money. And what is happening here? Papa, is it not this fool? He came to look for you to collect his money. I told him you are not around. You should come back when you return to collect his money. He refused. Iwebike, what is it? Uh, Iche, I and my brother are done with the work at the farm. Please come and inspect it so he can pay us. I see. Okay, never mind. I don't need to inspect. I don't need to inspect the work before paying you. You can leave. Hey, hurry. Go and get the chair. I have something to discuss with him. Okay, Papa. She was beaten by a snake. Hey, snake? Yes, yes, yes. No. Uh, bring it. Yeah. Hey. Keep by it. Keep by it. I will find someone to take care of it right now. Hey. Snake? Snake? Hey. Um, Thank you, Master. Very much. Let me let me rush on. Thank you very much. Eh? I will take care of her presently. Eh? Ah. 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 What happened? Igwe shouldn't have sent you out without consulting his elders. Huh? God le mu mume bunga. Nay. I told you before now. Nama they're not comfortable with her in that palace. Men don't see her and seek for her hand in marriage. Now that she's out, umoko buda, you come and seek for her hand in marriage. Mama. Now that I'm here, eat me if you want. Okay, shut up. Shut up, also. I took you are a baby. Chad neighbor moaka. At your age, I was already married to your father. Hmm? Anugomdi, now that you are out, men will see you and seek for your hand in marriage. Eh? I put on my hand on a palace. It's all get back from room. Now that you are out, okay, Nane? What if I'm not ready for marriage? Okay, me too. What if you're not ready? Are you a baby? Chadeka bo muaka. At your age, I was married. Be a night. Woman, 
What is troubling you is not my concern now. Something must have triggered the way to send this medicine out of the palace without consulting his elders. Something is truly wrong somewhere. Eh? This prophecy of equals is beginning to look like truth to me. I'm not calling you now, Conan. Nah, that is your own business. I can help you get your own. Go, 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 Come on and get Naya. Nay, huh? Nay, talk to your daughter. Is it my like this? Maz. Maz. What are they doing here? <clears throat> Prince the King demands your presence at the palace, Pigeon. Papa, what is happening with Lotana? Lotana, he actually he marched on a poisonous stone and uh, he's lost so much blood. So much blood. Papa, please, you have to take him to the hospital, please. No, no, don't worry about that. Eh? I will take care of it. It's nothing. I will take care of it. Eh? Let this thing boil and then I will <coughs> use it on him. But why will he risk his life to save mine? Why? My daughter, better go and rest. Eh? You need to rest properly so that you heal faster. Eh? Go and rest. Don't worry. Hmm? Everything is all right. Eh? My prince, my prince, your beloved was beaten by a snake, but someone saved her and brought her home. What? How did this happen? Um, my prince, when we got to her house, her father said he sent her to fetch firewood. And um, Isiaka went looking for her. Immediately, Rotana brought her home. This is crazy. If anything should happen to Ifunaya. 
I will question the gods of this land. No, my prince, she's fine. Just that the one that brought her home is the one at risk now. Are you sure she's fine? Yes, my prince, that's what the father said. Grown baby. Listen, your brother is dying at Manze Amade's house, the herbalist. My brother? Yes! If you don't go there now, eh? his leg is on fire. The next thing you will hear is. How did it happen? I don't know. Since you refuse to cook, then go and look for your sister. Eh? Ne? It's again. From where to where will I look for her now? Please, oh. Me, I'm very, very tired. All I need now is just to rest. Biko. Ha. Let's come and look for her. Who is there? Who? Mama, she's not here. <sighs> Has any demon possessed you? Huh? Mama, I'm sorry. A snake bit if Naya. I have to go back to know how she's faring. Mama. If him, I will. Snake, Papa. Yes, Mama. Um, mama, Mama, please. Go and take care of her. Ah. Oh, so, 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 God bless you. Hey, Nave. Why are you looking at me like that? Me, I'm not cooking anything in this household. I'm not cooking anything. Mama, I'm not going to do. Mama, Mama, I go, I go, I go. Mama, Mama, I'm back and I'm very hungry. Is the food ready? There's no food in the house. Ah, Mama, why now? Your sister refused to cook. She says she's not ready to cook anything today. Nchide? Nchide, why didn't you cook anything in this house? What is it? What happened? Oh! You even noticed me, Akwea? Hey! Thank God, though. Well, I am not entering that kitchen today. Mama, me. Which answer is you? Which answer is you are not entering please, that, okay. that kitchen today? What is wrong with it's you? It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll go and cook. Mama, how can there be two grown-up girls in this house and they cannot cook anything? Eh? Why now? And eh? how can a grown-up man like you go out every day for hunting and return empty-handed? Mama, Mama, leave me. Mama, leave me. Let him come. Mama, leave me now. Papa must it be today. Gente. Mm -mm. It is not just today. It must be now. Do you understand? Oh, Let's see, go and cook some food. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you miss this opportunity, you will never get it again. Oh, Papa, and this is unexpected. I am not ready for it. There are so many things I still want to do. It is not unexpected. It can be unexpected. Almost the whole of my life I've spent using, but preparing for this same thing. Now the opportunity has come and you are telling me it's unexpected. No. Let me finish the things I need to do now. Let me finish. You can't just tell me to start packing my things just like that. Hey, whatever you want to do, you can still do it later. When you feel like Melania, you can still do it. For now, go in. Karim. What happened to the time? It is for your good, my daughter. I'm back. You're welcome. Thank you. And what, what is it you're carrying? Bush meat. I killed it. Oh, you killed bush meat? Yes, Papa. Oh, that is good. Rema, now put that. Rema. I know can't see you put Collect the bush meat. Papa, let me help out this one first. I had fuzzy what's it? Uh, 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 judge, give the bush meat to her. Let her go and prepare it for the king and his son. Now if you can get your Oh, 
This will not happen, no. Okay. I didn't eat this meat for anybody. No, but it's not your meat. This is bush meat. Don't be wicked. Don't just be wicked. You have to support your sister. Let her succeed. Get what she is looking for. During your own time, she will support you. Don't, don't be wicked, please. Papa, the wickedness will start from this meat. Nobody will touch my meat, though. Your meat, that's what you're meat. You're still calling it your meat. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, I do will be enemies of progress. Papa, is he going to be okay? Of course he'll be okay. Hmm? I've given him everything that he needs uh, to uh, recover and be very strong and healthy. Hmm? Just let him rest. By the time he wakes up, he'll be okay. He'll be strong. Hmm? Even you, you need some rest. Stop being overly worried and disturbed. Hmm? Rest so you two will be strong. Eh? Leave him alone. Let him sleep. Huh? Yes, I'm coming. I think the king is afraid of the prince getting any of us pregnant. That was the reason he lied against us and sent us out. Hey, mm. Ujide, mm. you have a point here. My daughter is not true. If we were earlier on, I was engulfed with anger. You were no normal. But now I think clearly. I'm a mess. Something is wrong somewhere. Mama, are you saying that? One of us truly wanted to poison Igwe. Mm-mm. If -mm. Mama, that is not what Mama is trying to say. Mama is trying to say that the gods have more information that is hidden from the king and his councils. Hey, mm. take this in my hand, Bunobi. How do you know what I had in mind? Yes, Mama. My father also thought so as well. And he said he will question a person concerning the issue. Ne, whatever it is, I got free here. More personally. So I believe, as I'm very sure that the ghost has more information. Yes. There is nothing more. The gods are hiding. They have said it all. Eyes of the gods. Do you have an idea that what you did today can make our daughters remain single forever? For the men of this village, we take them to be evil. Your daughters will soon marry and go to their husband's houses. The truth of who wants to poison the king is not far. The message from the gods is for him to be careful of what he eats. You see exactly what I mean? You know something, but you are not saying it. And I am not leaving this place until you tell me exactly what I want to hear. If you are new, you are my very good friend. I wish I have more to tell you. I will. Hmm? I will. Just follow the instructions, eh? And when you're adding salt, add it bit by bit. Hmm? So I to give you a nice uh, taste. So just see how I wrote it here. Make sure you follow the instructions. So. Mm. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just follow the instruction. You make a nice cook. Yes, she understands what you are telling her. The ones you taught her are okay. Let us go. Papa, I to understand what I'm teaching her now. I said she has understood what you taught her. Let us go. I don't want the king to become terribly hungry. Let us go. But I can't go Greetings, you know. Uh, greetings, my dear. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, where did you pack? I saw this, sir. Good. Baby, tapa. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ifunanya, I am here to take you to the palace. 
Igwe and Prince Ikenga are expecting you as soon as possible. Are you stupid or senseless? If Naya, I will not take any insult from you. I am only carrying out the instruction given to me by my king. Okay then, go and tell your prince what happened to me. And also tell him what happened to the man who saved my life. I am sorry. I cannot and I would not leave this place without going with you. Yeah, come on, carry me now. I am not going anywhere with you and that is fine now. Listen, you have to understand me. There is no way I will go back to that palace without going with you. Maz, please help me and talk to your daughter. Isiaka, go back to the palace and explain the situation to Igwe Ajebe and his son. Do you understand me? Maz, there is no way I will go back to that palace without her. I'd rather stay here. I'm not living here without this. Maz, what's going on here? My prince, my love, what happened to you? You may rise, my dear. Rise. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. It is. Your Majesty. You should be very happy now, I guess. Of course. Uh, I am very happy. God. Yes, I am. Uh, please take her to the royal kitchen and I cut her every assistance she may need. Sorry. How can I honor the royal invitation when the man that saved my life is battling with his? Your father can take care of things. He did not save my father. Funaya, do you even know whom you are trying to turn down? My father, the great king of this kingdom. Then tell your father, the king, that I was beaten by a snake and I cannot see him. My prince, my prince. Are you alright? I'm fine. My prince. What happened to my brother? My father said he stepped on a poisonous stone and he lost a lot of blood. Yes. So, where were you when all this was happening? Uh, my prince, it all happened before I could get there. Oh my god. How do I tell my father that there will be no food in the palace today? My prince, family, speak. Speak. From the text message I received from other dads, the king has made another preparation. Your Majesty, honestly, what you just did is what you would have done long ago. <laughs> yes. You see, now that my daughter, my own daughter, has entered the palace as the first wife, she is going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. She is going to cook good food for you, for you to enjoy yourself, and also her husband to be the prince. Oh no, you know the tradition of this kingdom. You know why we are doing what we are doing. It's very simple. It is not in line with our tradition, but we are doing this simply to avert the prophecy. Um, Under normal circumstances, my son must not be with any maiden in this palace until the next Ophala festival, where he is expected to select one of the maidens as his wife. And in that very festival, he is going to be named 
the crown prince of Abu Geza kingdom. You know it yourself. That is true. <laughs> that is, uh, as a matter of fact, we are saying the same thing, Your Majesty. We are saying the same thing, but differently. You see, your son would have made a terrible mistake. Yes. But the gods opened your eyes. <laughs> you saw it coming. And you corrected these things earlier. But because I, I, my daughter is the right choice. Otherwise, he would have made a mistake of going for a wrong choice. Uh, well, oh no, I am uh, uh, not in the mood of going into this discussion you just opened now. And uh, that is because I am famished, if you know what that means. Oh. I have not uh, eaten anything since morning. And uh, on that note, I, I want to thank you for what you have done. And to equally let you know that I want to be left alone. Okay, I understand yeah. you do take care of yourself. You're not asking me to leave. Mm. I understand. No, 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 I am not asking you to leave, but I want you, you know. It's all right. Thank you. The Father, this is not what we agreed. You can sit down. Yes, I will agree with you that uh, this is not what we agreed. But you will equally agree with me that this is not contrary to our plan. Father, Sincerely, I do not want that meeting in this palace. Ifunaya is the one I want. Ifunaya is the one he wants. And I'm going to ask you, Ikenga, where is Ifunaya as we speak? Well, um, unfortunately, she was bitten by a snake. Exactly my point. Now, can you say you know why she will be bitten by a snake? in a time such as this, you don't know. Can't you see that it is possible there is something the gods are planning? Listen, Ikenga, you may forget everything, but do not ever forget that this Urema we are talking about is betrothed to you. I wouldn't know why you are resisting her with everything you've got, but you need to understand that she is the one that is most suited to be a queen in this kingdom. Uh, you may not like her, but I need you to understand something. That uh, Uremba is the daughter of the Yolo. And uh, she is not only the one who is in this palace at the moment, but she is equally the one already saddled with the responsibility of preparing the things we are going to be eating. It's okay. No problem. But please, I want you to note that I will never and cannot eat whatever she prepares. I will know how to handle myself. Well, I am not going to ask you to eat what you don't want to eat. But I am going to let you know you are a prince. And there is no way you are going to bring this abomination upon yourself by eating what you are not supposed to eat. Ikenga, you are a prince. And if you should go on and expose yourself by eating abominable things, I will not be there to defend you when it happens. The choice is yours. Father, may I leave, please? Um... Papa, let me help. Doctor, please. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. 
It's okay, fine. He'll be fine. Hmm? Allow him to rest. I will prepare the other one. Eh? When he wakes up, I will give it to him. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Um, um, if my father comes back with good news, I'll tell you. Your father will never come back with any good information. Osi baby. Anya, where are you coming from? Forget about where I'm coming from. Pay attention to the latest news that I'm about to deliver to you. And what is the latest gist? Eh, who them ma? He's in the palace, cooking food. For Igwe, His Royal Majesty. Eh? <laughs> yes. Which Urema? Urema, I am talking about is uh, Mazo Koronji's first daughter. Yay! The same Urema that I know very well, that cannot be able to do anything. Eh? 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 Anna, you see, this is one of the reasons I told my father that I will never eat whatever that good for nothing prepares in this palace. <coughs> now the results are coming out. My prince, you will be stabbed today to Agro Yemorugwagangu here. It is better you manage whatever you see than not eating at all. Ah, uh, come on. I will survive on fruits. <clears throat> My prince, there is an observation that I made and I want to discuss it with you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, My prince, I know that Rutana has been infected badly because he tried to save the life of your loved one. And the father happened to be Amadi, who is the best herbalist in this village. Uh, My prince, leaving that boy there, I don't think it's the best idea. We should take him to a cause who can also cure him. Mm. Yes, my prince. So tell me, all these things you are saying now, where do you think it will lead you? Uh, uh, my prince, women are always fragile in mind, especially Funanya. You understand? My prince, the more she look at the man who saved her life, dying, my prince, I think she will start getting in love with well, him. You shut up. My Ifunaya. So you think that in this life, Ifunaya will stoop so low to, to a common poor farm boy, all because he saved her life. When she knows that she is the future queen of this kingdom, my wife to be. Is that what you think? My parents, I was just trying to. Oh, you keep whatever you're saying to yourself. Keep it and make sure you don't vomit this nonsense next time. Else I will cut off your tongue. My prince. Yes. The king demands your presence. Okay. Now, don't you ever, ever bring up this topic again. Bia, what, what is even wrong with you, Kalina? He keeps thinking he's the only strong one. All he thinks about is work. How to make money, farm, or get little. Mama. Is he not the one taking care of everything in this house? How do you even expect him to take care of us if he's not working this hard? Huh? Anyway. When is he coming back? Tomorrow you... Eh? Tomorrow you... Oh, he wants to sleep in the farm, right? Mama, we are done with the work at the farm. So, where is he? He got another job in the next village. So, he said I should come and stay with you. You know why he goes to work on the other farm? How? Oh, so, you don't have to worry. I don't have to worry. How would he eat? Who will feed him? Mama, eh? You worry too much. The man you went to work for is very rich. I don't give him something better to eat, not what we eat here. What are you saying? Ha! Nah. There is no food a child will eat outside that will be better than what the mother will cook for him. I don't know Besides, do you know the love that goes inside that food? That is what makes it special. Not 
what material am I going to eat? Oh, big chicken or small chicken or turkey? Even without me itself, it will still be sweet. Mama, it's okay. You'll be fine, okay? Just stop worrying. Allow me to eat this food. Eat now, the food please. now. Eat it in peace. Yeah, yeah not in peace. While your brother is out there in pieces. Father, you sent for me. I can't believe that the daughter of Yono prepared this tasteless pot of pepper and served that food. <laughs> Who will eat this? And that's the woman you want me to make my wife. The future queen of this kingdom. Who knows if what you've eaten is the, the, the poison Opozo spoke about? What? Yes. No, it can't be. It's possible. What of uh, the maiden who was bitten by, by a snake? How is she? Any information? Well, her father is on it. But once she gets better, I'll bring her to the palace. Please, uh, if there is anything they need to get better provided, uh, let us get good news as, 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 as fast as possible. Please, father, don't have a taste of this anymore. Let me get that to do this. What is your problem? What did I do to you? Why do you want to disgrace me? How dare you disgrace me? This could be called a royal disgrace. Papa disgrace you. What did I do wrong? Oh, you're asking what you did wrong. You came to the palace to prepare some kind of nonsensical ritual in the name of food. Papa, why are you blaming me? Is it not your fault? Did you allow me to do anything in the house? Oh, my fault? What is wrong with you? Can you feel the in me? What is in the cooking? Ordinary cooking. Something you can use your common sense. You are blaming me. Don't. Don't lose the opportunity of winning the prince's heart. Else, you ruin the opportunity of becoming the queen of this kingdom. You will like a game before she will get What is your problem? Um, Papa, please, I'm going back to the palace. Ordinary, ordinary cooking. Ordinary cooking, and you say I'm your fault. For blaming me. Use your common sense and cook for the king to enjoy himself. If 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 you if you if you lose this opportunity. Did I? Uh, it's okay. Eh? What you did is very beautiful. Huh? It will help him uh, raise his temperature and then uh, ensure a more speedy recovery. Hmm? It's okay. Uh, I mean, while it's time for your medicine. Oh, Papa, please. <laughs> take, take, take. Eh? Now uh, take take a little more. Take. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean while I prepare some hot water uh, so that uh, we can soak your legs uh, to kill the jams and ensure a speedy recovery. Hmm? I mean while you need to eat something. I'll prepare some food for you. Let me get you some food. Uh, Thank you, Papa. Thank you. 
my prince, please um, eat uh, plantain and oil. Thank you. I'm not hungry. My prince, I know you're angry with me because of the mistake I made in the soup. But I promise you will enjoy this one. It's roasted plantain with oil. Try it, please. Uh, didn't you understand what I said? I said I don't need it. I am not hungry. Or can't I have my piece? Yeah, but my, my prince, please. I, I don't want you to be angry with me. Just have a taste of this. You will like it. I'm very sure you will like it. I, I'm coming. Let me get you water to wash your hand. You will enjoy this one. I'll be right back. Bond plantain. Isiaka. Uh, my prince. Please come. You can have this. Uh, my prince, I have already tested the one she gave me. The plantain is not well roasted. This oil in Africa, this oil no, this oil in no, no. My prince, my stomach now. You see? That's exactly what I am talking about. The future queen, I, I suppose, does not know how to add salt to oil, red oil. Please take it away. This one will be one party, yeah, my friends. Oh. This kind of life. Imagine my poor son. After working in this village, he has moved to another village to continue working. No rest. No food. I mean, how would he survive? Hey, Chineke. If only their father were to be alive, at least we'll have another source of income. And they won't have to be going through all this. Oh, God help us. Hey, She said he will be okay. Why is he cold? He is in the midst of our ancestors. But I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, you see, his cold body signifies that he is in the midst of our ancestors. Mm, that's why his body is cold. Now, his shivering means he wants to pop out from there. But they won't let him. You understand me? Yeah. So, what his body needs now is to be kept warm. Mm? So that um, he'll be able to overcome all these obstacles. Yeah. Don't worry. I will do something to help him presently. I know what to do. Hmm? Don't worry, I'm coming. Yeah. I will not let you die. I will keep you warm till Papa gets back, okay?
Spend time with you. As, 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 as what? As who? Huh? You know what? Just go. Go to your quarters. I don't want to see you. <laughs> Will you stop it? What is wrong with you? My friends, why are you rejecting me? Do you know you're just stupid? Well, I, I like people like you. You know why? You will waste your youthful age staying in the palace here. Hoping and dreaming that I will marry you. But the good news is that you will get old single. Get out. Okay. I said get out! Look at her hunchback. I can't get to spend the time with you. As my wife or what? You sent for me. Is it a war zone? Okay. I want you to help me ask the gods of our land why they are punishing me like this. What crime did I commit? Where did I go wrong? What is my offense? Or is there somebody from my family who has done something wrong against the gods? Your Highness, the gods of our land will not punish a great king like you. They love you and always protect you. If there is anything bothering you, speak to my ears and I will talk to the gods on your behalf. You know, it's here, uh, at times when you talk, I begin to feel that your inner eyes are the ones that are working now. It appears as if your physical eyes are blind. Can't you see the kind of thing I am eating? I am sorry, my king. I think what you're eating might be what pleases you. I still don't understand why you're still angry. I was why are you so complicated? I mean, why are you so mean and wicked? You were the one who asked me to sack all the maidens that are working in the palace because one of them is up for mischief. I sent all of them out in direct obedience to your instruction. Can't you see what I am eating? Is there any normal king who will be eating this? Since that time that I sacked all of them, I have not eaten any normal food. If the gods of this land want me to embark on fasting, they should at least tell me. And I should prepare my mind. I am sorry, my king, for what you're passing through. But I never asked you. I only delivered a message from the gods. I never asked you not to employ any palace maid. So how can I possibly employ another palace maid when I don't know the particular one who wants to poison me? and why she wants to poison me. My king, there are many ways to kill a rat. I think you should ask the prince to bring one of his betrothed to be cooking for now until the god reveals who wants to kill you and why. Well, I am in a position to let you know that the adage, there are many ways to kill a rat, does not arise now. There are two women who are betrothed. 
to the prince. We have already tried the daughter of the Olo, and we discovered she cannot cook. Now, the daughter of Amadi was beaten by a snake. She is incapacitated. So, where then are we going to get this one that will be cooking here? Listen, I want you to go back. Go back and find out from the gods of this land why they are punishing me. They need to tell me if there is anything they want me to do. And if there is anything they want me to do, I am going to do it. I don't want to continue doing things like this. Your Highness, I think we should. I, I, I just said you should go and ask the gods for a way forward. That is what you should be doing. Igwe. Don't use don't use slap me. I can't bust. You are too fast. You are too fast. Why teach me the thing con thing con take care cut. Thing con thing con take care cut. That way to sing it. Hey! Hey! Why? Oh, Papa. Ah, ne ne. Papa. Give me my shot. Papa, network. Listen to me. You will go with me. You keep quiet. You will go with your mother to the farm and remain there with her. Ngozi, you will prepare food eh? very fast too. I take to them at the farm. I will remain with them at the farm. Okay? I will join you at the farm once I'm back from the meeting. Is that clear? Yes, Papa. Papa, is that clear? Papa, Papa, I am coming. Hi, hey, Papa, you have removed my network. Which network? Ooh. Which network? When did you become a telephone that is that is having a network? Hey, Papa, Papa. I will move according to the direction of the spirit. Hey. Hey. Sometimes I wonder if I am your father. Because you don't resemble me. Look at you. You look like a dragonfly. Like father, like Let son. me come back from the farm and discover that you did not go to the farm. Then we shall know. What spirit is that that directs you? Papa, is the spirit. Papa, no, 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 Hold your greetings. I, I said, keep your greetings. What's wrong with you? Why did you collect money from me, you and your brother? And you know quite well you have not finished my work. Yet you collected the money. Why? Now, let, let me explain. Explain what? Just... What do you want to explain? That you're not a thief? Or that you did not collect money from me? No. What do you want to explain? What's going on? Now you Now see what is going on. Nah. Oh, give me. Now, what is it? My daughter, just a little misunderstanding. Do you know you misunderstanding? Do you know you? Did you say a little misunderstanding? Oh, God, take it easy. No, for the one. Oh, you're not going to get it. 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 I don't know what draw. Is it that you don't trust me or what? I am only afraid of losing you to a nobody. Everybody is somebody. 
Nobody is nobody. That's my point. My love, that's my point. I don't want you to go falling for people with no values. And leave me for them. I am betrothed to you already. How am I going to leave you? I don't have a choice. You're saying this to me? Yes. Do I have a choice? If I decide to leave you, if I decide not to marry you, I don't have a choice. I'm already betrothed to you. So why are you complaining? It's all right, Anugum. I've heard you. But I am giving you only today to go and finish that work. Else, I'm going to say to her, I'm going to say to her, I'm going to say to Come on, Mama, you need to stop crying. I've told you before, he will be fine. <sighs> well, why did you lie to me? The same reason this? you're crying now. I just didn't want you to start thinking about him. Besides, Lotana is being treated by the best herbalist in the village. Well, if he's okay, he should be home now. Why is he not home? Uh, of course, he's not well. That's where he's at, I'm at this place. Hi, <sighs> Timo. He'll be fine. Just, just stop crying, okay? Please. Okay, I'll go and visit him now. I'll check on him, okay? What, what about uh, uh, Koronji's job? I talk on trouble. So we can so what the wrong people. Mama, when I'm done with my brother, I'll go and work at the farm. I'll do the job, okay? Just just stop crying, please. Greet him, more greeting for me. I'm going to talk to you. You will disappear. Just stop crying, okay? It's a good night, okay? I got your mama. You claim you love me, yet a man I just met for the very first time risked it all to save me. And the only way you can reward him is by being unnecessarily jealous and envious. What is wrong with you? How do you feel? Not very well, my prince. I'm still weak. But I'll be fine. What you did was an act of valor. And you will be rewarded once you get better. Thank you, my prince. Are you satisfied? Did you do it to please me? Or you did it because it's what you have to do? You talk like I owe him anything. Yes, you do. You owe him a lot. That man is the reason I am still alive. You claim you love me, yet I don't think you do what he did for me. Watch your talk. Watch your words. If I were you, I would make this man my best friend or personal guard. At least for saving the life of the woman you claim you want to marry. Brother. How are you feeling? Well, I thank the gods. Yeah, I'm getting better. Oh, wow. How is Mama? Mama has been so worried about you. I know, I know. I'm glad you're really getting better. Excuse me. Lutana, I'll come and see you later. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. Bye bye. Brother, let me walk you out. <clears throat> let me take you to the palace. No, my prince, I am still hurting. I will come when I am well rested. But you just told him you will come to visit him. Is he more important than I am to you? And is he the prince of this kingdom? 
or is his father the king of this kingdom? Oh, so you know all that. And you prefer to go visiting him than coming with me to the palace. My prince, please, I'm tired. I want to go inside and rest. Your Highness, food is ready. Should I serve it here or at the dining? I am not hungry. Your Highness is very delicious. You will like it. I said I am not hungry, please. Can I be left alone? Breakfast is ready. Should I make for you? Are you sure you're Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you sure no hungry? I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. Thank you very much. It's like I've been thinking. And I thought it's wise we'll make Lutana one of us. Yes, make him my personal guide and advisor. Why, my prince, if I may ask? He's strong. Brave and wise. I think it's the best way to, you know, reward him for what he did. My prince, this must be for Naya's suggestion. Oh yes, it is. And it's a good one. My prince, are you now blind from saying the truth? What truth are you talking about? My prince, she is trying to keep her close to the palace so that she can easily go in whenever she wants. My prince, she is trying to deceive you. Don't let, don't let her deceive you. Isiaka. My prince. This should be the very last time you speak of Ifnaya to me in such an evil manner. Hey, I'm sorry, my prince. Only if you will permit me to have my eyes on her for some time. And then I will be able to prove myself wrong, or rather prove you wrong. You may go. I was shocked myself when I heard that Unenna, his daughter, is in the palace. My son told me, but I doubted him. This further proves the point that uh, he connived with our ego so that our daughters will leave the palace for his own daughters to stay. Can you imagine that? Well, I feel as much pain as both of you right now. But let us not jump into conclusion yet. Let us all wait and see where all these are going to. Ojuku, you are right. But I don't want to believe that it was all lied to me until I'm sure of it. Okay. Mm. What more can I say? <clears throat> Let all of us keep our fingers crossed. Mm.
live there. Come on, sir. In as much as I want you to get married into a royal home, I also want you to marry a man who would love and respect you for who you are. But the problem here is that you are already betrothed to the prince. Papa, betrothed or not, my point is I rather remain single than marry a man I don't have feelings for. Are you seeing Rotana? No, Papa. I told you exactly the way everything happened. We have never spoken to each other till yesterday when it all happened. Mm. Okay. okay. That is very good. Very, very good. Hmm? I don't want you to have anything to do with Rotana. Hmm? You belong to Prince Ikenga. Hmm? That is where you belong. Please. Papa, I, I thought you just said you want me to be happy. Just as Mama was happy with you. Yes. Listen, Rotana is no match for Ikenga. Ah, Prince Ikenga is Prince Ikenga. Rotana is Rotana. Eh? Both of them cannot compete. Yes. Being betrothed is not a guarantee for marriage, Papa. Besides, the prince was betrothed to someone else before me. Why has he not married her? Eh? Papa, I have the right to marry who I love. Who. I have the right to. What are we even talking about here? I don't even have feelings for this person. I don't. He saved my life and I am indebted to him. That is all. All I'm saying is that you should have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Rutana. Hmm? You can be friends with him. That is okay. Hmm? You can be friends with him, but don't fall in love with him. Please. Yeah? Don't fall in love with him. Hmm? Rutana has no time for any woman. He doesn't even look at me that way. Hmm? Yes, he doesn't. He's just being a nice guy and I am only returning the energy. I told Mama that you went to work in another village. Because really? she came to the house this morning. Ah. Wait, I thought you were done with the chase job. I was very worried about you. That's why I didn't finish the job. Big <laughs> baby girl. You know, this statement you just made is a statement that is always made by lazy men. Let me take you to Mama first. And by the way, I'm not lazy. Hey! Oh, thanks to the ghost that you're fine. Look, I was worried. I, I, I was even on my way to come and see how you're doing. It's okay. I, I am fine now, don't worry. Uh, are you? Yes. Uh, I have to follow it to your house to be sure you're okay. Uh, there will be no need for that. Eh? You know, don't stress yourself, mm -mm. okay? I insist. Uh, um, in that case, let me leave you too. She will take you to the house. Yes, I will. Uh, let me go you, back to uh, the farm and finish the work. Yes, go. So, I mean, yeah, don't me? worry, I'll take yes, you to yes. your house. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. that you made it alive. Hey! I am happy. And what are you doing with this distraction? 